I'm all sweaty because I just got finished doing a uh, recreation for VBS. I was one of the guys who played the game, so we played Capture the Flag, we played Hide and Seek and Tag and a bunch of other things today, so that's why I'm sweaty. But I thought this would be a good opportunity to talk about this video that I saw. Currently, it's like number 13 trending on YouTube as of yesterday, and I watched it, and it's about the three different type of curly hair routines that these people go through, and I feel like I'm, I'm actually making this video to kind of to show my own curly hair routine and I know this is weird and it's not my usual content so I'm sorry to anyone who thinks that it's weird but I just felt the need to make this video because I feel like people with curly hair are always doing the most. Like this girl said it took her two hours and then at night she had to wear something and then in the morning she had to like untwist stuff and it's like why are you doing so much stuff? I don't really know. Like does it have to be that bad? My, my curly hair routine, I'm going to show you because right now my hair is all sweaty and nasty and that's what it looks like. <laughs> looks like the Grinch. Anyway, uh, I thought I would show you right now um, because mine is pretty simple and I think it's it works. Like my hair feels nice and healthy um, once it's all done and I don't have dry hair and my hair is very naturally very curly. So let's start it off. So basically the first thing that I do is when I'm in the shower, I get my hair completely soaking wet and I, I don't even comb it. I never comb my hair. I also don't even shampoo my hair that often unless it's like really dirty, I don't shampoo my hair. So what I'll do is get it completely soaked, put in conditioner and then wash out all the conditioner. Then the next thing that I do is and I use Cantu natural hair with shea butter leave-in conditioner so i use this one first this is the white cream that i used first it looks like that i just use a glob of it when i say people were doing the most in that video they would like put it in the ends and then work their way up to the roots i just like slather all of it in like all over and it doesn't matter to me whether it's like in my ends and then my roots like it doesn't matter i just put it all in then the second thing that i use to kind of activate it i guess this is uh this is cantu natural hair uh the define shine custard and it's kind of like more it's like a more gelatinous type thing what i do with this is after the white cream is in and keep in mind my hair is completely soaking wet because this is still while I'm in the shower I put in that stuff all over again like I just mess it all around that's pretty much it I don't towel dry my hair what I do is while I'm still in the shower and there's still like uh, the glass in front of me so I can't get water everywhere is I whip my hair back and forth a lot like for a long time and then it like puts the curls all out and then they all lay down and then I let it air dry which takes like an hour um, at my current hair length. So anyway, the, this one is special because what this does, what that does is it kind of puts a cast on your hair. So once my hair is all dry, it will look like there's gel in it and it'll still kind of look wet even though it's dry. But basically when it's all hard and dry, like the hair is very hard, but that's because there's a cast over it, which is that thing. What you can do is crinkle that like this and then the curls will look nice and soft. Like it gets rid of that, that hard cast. What I try to do is to keep my hair nice all day as long as possible is I don't crinkle it. Um, Cause once it's crinkled, then that's when it can start getting all frizzy like like how this is right now. Like my curls aren't defined right now. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like just out of the shower and it's, it's still pretty wet. Um, but it, it air dries in like an hour, so it's not too bad. What I do is I kind of just pull it to the side like that just a little bit. That's kind of my part. Okay, so right now my hair looks like it's still wet a little bit, but it's actually dry. Um, this is the cast I was talking about where like my hair is really hard right now. And normally this is where it ends for me. I would try to keep this as long as I can because as soon as I crinkle it, it'll look really nice, but that's when it could get frizzy again. But for the sake of the video, I'm gonna crinkle it just so you can see what's gonna happen. Okay, so I just woke up from a nap because I've had a long day already and I still have to go into work. But this is my hair with um, it all crinkled, all the stuff crinkled out. I think it looks nice, I can do this with it. Hey, so I just got back from work, so it's been about um, maybe like five hours since I last that last clip. And you can see that my hair still looks good. A um, Little bit of sweat. <laughs> uh, but I've also got lots of volume to play with and like the, the curls all look really nice. So yeah, I made this video so that guys can see like, hey, it's not that hard to have nice hair, just put in a little bit of work. And uh, I'm sorry for my viewers that this is kind of an abnormal video. 
but I just felt the need to do it because it's been on my mind lately. Uh, so anyway, that's all I got for you. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, see ya.